Hi, I'm Trevor Walters from communicology.co.uk and welcome to a follow-on video that uh, picks up where a previous video left off uh, where I talked about how to obtain a Facebook API key. Now, the reason for me obtaining that key in the original video uh, was so I could use it as part of the Facebook Connect WordPress plugin uh, which you can get over from sociable.es and there's a couple of versions of the plugin on there at the moment. There's a beta version 2.52 and also the older version 1.21. Anyway, at the time that I created the video, the instructions that I gave were enough to to get it working on Facebook. Uh, unfortunately, the Facebook API changes so rapidly uh, that after a short while it, it just wouldn't work anymore. So I had to make some tweaks to both mine and other people's blogs to get it working again. So uh, as we're about to update the Communicology blog with uh, the beta version of Facebook Connect, I thought we'd do another video just to quickly run through how I've got it working previously. Okay, so with that in mind, we'll kick off. So on the blog, I've already got the Facebook Connect plugin uploaded so we're not going to go through that you can get it yourself from uh, sociable.es download it and upload it to your blog using the usual plugin upload uh, menu on the left hand side once you've uploaded it and activated it you get a new Facebook menu over on the left which if you click you get this wonderful page asking for your API key and your API secret and uh, the way you get those, you go to the Facebook developer app, which if I click this link should bring me straight there, which it does. Now to get this going, you need to do is click the set up new application button, the top of the screen, and you've got to give your application a unique name, and it's got to contain, it can't contain stuff with Facebook trademarks in it, uh, so we're going to type a name now and Facebook will warn us if uh, the name can't be used for any reason. Um, so in this case I'll call it the intriguingly titled Communicology FB Connector and you must agree to the Facebook terms and conditions which just means that they will now own your house, your car, your spouse, your children and be able to sell everything you own to the nearest bailiff. Press create application. And we get all the settings ready for um, filling out and also taking back to our blog. Now as usual the bits that we want are the application ID, well not so much the ID but certainly the API key and the API secret. Uh, I can see these now, but by the time you see this video they will be blanked out because they are the equivalent to a password of sorts and certain clever individuals can reverse engineer these to uh, do all sorts of wonderful things with uh, your Facebook account that you probably don't want them to. So keep them secret. It's called a secret key for a reason. So the only things on this page that uh, I've used in the past to get this working, obviously the application name, and the only other bits I have filled out are the developer contact emails. That's all I leave on. With that in mind I move on to the authentication section. I make sure that this application is able to be installed to users and Facebook pages. And the, you need to fill in a post authorize callback URL and that URL needs to be the address of the site that's been installed to. So in this case, it is. Now, one thing that's very important is that when you enter this address in, you must include the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, and there also has to be a trailing forward, uh, trailing forward slash at the end of the address. Onto profiles. I had to put a tab name in here to get this working before. Um, so in this case, I'll just call this Yeah, 
I'll just call it Communology FB. Um, I left that as wide. And I think the rest of it, again, I left that blank, so that's fine. Canvas page URL has to be a unique name. Um, so in this case, I'll just put and the callback address is your website address again remembering to use HTTP and the trailing forward slash at the end now I left the render method as iframe um, I changed the iframe size to resizable kept it at full width and I turned off quick transitions so that's that page finished with. On to connect. Um, connect URL, website name, again. With the, the preceding HTTP and the, the trailing forward slash at the end. And the base domain is your website address no trailing slashes, no HTTP, and no www or FTP or anything else. Finally, I don't, didn't use anything under the widget section whatsoever. Under the advanced section, I ensured the sandbox mode was disabled and that the application type is for the web. Now, all that's done, I should just press save changes. wait for our chronically congested internet to catch up with the rest of the world and we're done now what you need to do is make a note of your uh, API key and application secret in this case I am just going to copy and paste these into a temporary text file uh, as it says here the changes have been said that your changes may take several minutes to propagate to all servers this really shouldn't matter because this isn't a application in the traditional sense uh, it's more acting as a, an, app, an interface between Facebook and your blog. So if we scoot back to the blog in question, back to the settings page for Facebook Connect, we're going to put the API key and the API secret into their respective boxes. So API key, copy, paste, application secret, copy, and that's it. I'm going to press update configuration. That's going to update the plugin with the appropriate keys. Finally, I need to set the feed templates, which is uh, just it's kind of a, um, an outline of how information should be presented to Facebook when it's posted there. Um, but it's not set up initially when you you uh, load the plugin. You have to you have to press this update configuration, which is a really big deal. Not. Right, and that should be it. So, if I log out of here, and I'm now on this uh, fine looking website that. I can now hopefully connect with Facebook using the account I'm currently logged in with. So, connect. And if this has worked, hopefully my image should pop up right there, which it has. So congratulations if you follow this all through. You will have a fully functioning Facebook Connect plugin, which is linked to your Facebook profile and can do all sorts of funky things and pull all your Facebook friends into your blog community. Take it easy, guys. Triple Walters from communicology.co.uk.